Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies, but we're breaking the rules again! We're tequila test dummies. Boom, you bees! Let's test it. Test it! Oh, wait! We're testing Hornitos. Hornitos, which is? It's Hornitos Black Barrel. Boom, which is? Tequila aged in what? bourbon barrels. What? Tequila Let's... and bourbon barrels? Let's test it. Test it! Okay. So here we go, baby. We're firing up. We've been filming several episodes. <laughs> And we're bringing in some more Rito glasses. Bart's, what say you? Bart's been finishing my drinks for me. Woo! Because I'm not driving. Drink I'm responsibly. Playing it conservative. Drink responsibly when you're out there, folks. It's all about the flavor. It's not about the consumption. All right, bring them in. Boom! Bring they're in. sliding in. What is that? It's a Rito. We got more glasses. Boom! Because there's one guy out there that doesn't like our glass review, <laughs> but I think glass reviews are about as important, not quite, but how you capture the juice is almost as important as how you taste it. That's right. Uh, I'm going to bring these out. Anyway, we had Whoop. Riedel, 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 sent us single malt glasses. Yes. Uh, whiskey glasses. You roger that. We just did cognac glasses. I love their packaging. We and did cognac, which I plan to use as a whiskey glass okay. with a stem. But they also sent us tequila glasses. So they we did. thought we gotta do, we gotta do, we gotta get a cognac. We should do a cognac. This and looks very much like a wine flute. Let's do a tequila. Now I'll tell you, I actually, I bought this a while back. I had this, this is Hornito's Black Barrel. Love it. And it's a tequila that's been aged in whiskey barrels. Bam, we've done mezcal that mm -hmm. was smoked, which tasted like well, go watch the review of our mezcal. Mm -hmm. Kind of tastes like sagebrush. This I'm intrigued by. Now, I'll tell you, and the main reason I picked this up, our liquor store had this on clearance for $14.99. <laughs> Woo! Shut up! And it was like a $40 bottle. Holy moly! So I was like... Right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say again, this looks very much like a fluted, almost oh. like a uh, wine glass. Huh. Well, and... I think a majority of the Riedel glassware is wine related. They yes. make the other single spirits. Right. Um, so, very nice dark color added. Added? Or added uh, with. Present. Present. There you go. Thank you. Um, blah, blah, blah. Double aged in whiskey barrels. Okay. Echo in Mexico. Echo in Mexico. Echo. Echo. Hey, made, made in Mexico. Where are you at? Oh. 100% huh. Puro de Agave. Tequila Añejo, aged 18 months. Wow. 40%. I can, I can smell I can smell the agave. And a shout out real quick to Jamie Beaver. Jamie, you sent us some tequila samples, and we should have used those, but I left mine at home. I didn't think to bring them. Right. You know, so I, the nose is very unique, almost uh, citrusy. Te tequila-ish and right. bourbon-ish. Huh. I'm, I get mostly that tequila where I feel like that agave plants in my nose. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the difference, do you remember, between tequila and... Um, mezcal. Mezcal. I think it's the same kind of... No. Tequila has a There's different a aging process, doesn't it? I'm not sure. That's why I asked you if you remember. Comments. Put it in the comments. One of you guys out there, or gals, is an expert. We apologize if you're wanting a tequila review. What? You might have to go look elsewhere. No, we give a good tequila review. We just don't get into like the distillery in this. We've never really tried a very You got fine salt and tequila. lime? I believe you got that. Shooters? No, I believe that a top notch tequila can be sipped no, neat. No, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We just haven't done. We did the we did the mezcal delirio mezcal, which was from a smoked agave plant. Right. And other than that, we haven't done any. They I do smoked like it in a cave. Huh? It was in a cave. And oh, they, they smoked, smoked it in there. I believe that's at least the marketing. I do, and I've had a couple of, of uh, sipping tequilas. Huh. I like them. Now I can tell you, there's a lot of people that don't like tequila, but that's because they've gotten rip roaring drunk off of it at some point. Yes, like spring Pugan, break. Puking, heaving, hospitalized, drunk. No need. And to they even can't do tequila anymore. Drink responsibly. I've never been that toasted on tequila, so I like tequila. 
I'm glad you clarified tequila. Okay. Because I believe you've been that toasted. On what? Wine. <laughs> Zima. God, I missed it. I was searching. You missed it. Zima was the killer line there. Zima. <laughs> Dang, mm -hmm. Zima was the answer there. That was the answer, Zima. The nose there is are, delicious. There are some good bourbon notes, whiskey notes in there with this. Vanilla and cinnamon. Actually almost override the tequila. Hmm. There's a little bit of saltiness on the nose with some of the tequilas. Huh. There's a slight butteriness. Mm-hmm. A little bit of uh, vanilla cream. Wow, you're not lying. The nose the, is like screaming lime to me, but it's that salted agave. lime. Yeah, salted lime. And I thought it, it has, was going to be in the taste. Yeah, and it's not. It is not. Now I will tell you, I had uh, my niece was in town with her girlfriend. And we made uh, tacos at home and, and margaritas. Mm. And I used this. And we were feeling them pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Use Even this though to make a margarita? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. Because I didn't have any. Okay. Well, no, I think I did have. I said, hey, I got Jose Cuervo or I got Hornitos Black Barrel. 40%? And of course they said, hey, yeah, horn, go horn, horn horn yeah, go 40% as long as we're spending your money. <laughs> Aged 18 months, Casa Salsa. 40% aged 18 months. It made a good tequila or a good margarita. I would I imagine. Tell you that. I would imagine there's some great flavors in there. I'm trying to see what else is present. Wow. Nothing else on the bottle. Sorry we didn't research it. Well, the nose is There's very a little bit. tequila ish. Well, yeah, the nose has a lot more tequila on it. I was getting whiskey, but right there when I was just talking and inhaled, I got some of the tequila. Hmm. It's a pretty good mix, mix with the whiskey, having come from the whiskey barrels. It really is. Yeah. It's like it's bridging some bizarre gap. Because you're right. Sometimes I'm feeling tequila. Sometimes I'm tasting caramel vanilla cream. Yeah. <laughs> and I keep going, what am I drinking here? What am I drinking? All right, glass-wise. Um, Again, I like it. It's fancy. I don't think it's uh, very dependable. I don't. Th I think it's fragile. I think you want to be careful with this. I looked on this. Once again, it said you could wash it a thousand times. Well, I know you can way. wash it, but I'm telling you. Well, I wouldn't use it to hit a burglar over the head. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, they'd be like, well, yeah. and they'd be like, what is that? You'd want to actually reach for the bottle, <laughs> something substantial. Yeah. Um, here's my deal. Um, I am not, I, I don't know, it feels to me more a closer, much closer to a, a champagne flute. And I'm not sure what the length, I, Riedel knows what they're doing. There seems to be a length of the glass it still funnels in great nose. Riedel has supposedly sat down with experts in each field. If they were, if they wanted, they wanted to bring an experience for single malt scotches. Right. So they sat down with experts in the field and and formed their glass to that nosing okay. and palate. Now, grab. Why don't you just grab one of the cognac glasses? I know they're sitting right there. Yeah. Just put it side by side. So this is the cognac glass. You can see the tequila glass is a little bit taller. Yes. And again, supposedly they've sat down with experts in, in the cognac field and experts in the tequila field, and they've come up with these designs per spirit. Hmm. I can tell you right off the, right off the bat, I'm going to be drinking some of my single malts out of my cognac glass. It feels and looks like a Glencairn. I can even see us maybe releasing glasses with our name on some of these cognac glasses. I thought about doing that myself. I'm glad you took the bull by the horn. Yep. If you're gonna err, err boldly. That's my quote. I made that up. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, now see, I can even the nose there is better. Nose that. Hmm. It's different. Okay. Well, they do nose slightly differently. They do. I got I got more of a tequila, tequila hint off of off of this. Nose back to back. We might need to do a live show with the Riedel Rep. First of all, I like saying Riedel <laughs> Rep, but uh, I, I don't know. What Notice the also we didn't add any water. No, uh -uh. not needed. None needed. Uh, Hornitos, Black Barrel, Tequila. God, the Good. tequila just the, smells delicious. Uh huh. Doesn't taste we, the same. I kind of actually look forward to doing some tequilas. I think mm. that's definitely cognacs. Maybe. I mean, we'll mm. see there. Mm. Tequilas. I could see branching off and doing some. Armagnac. Some. Am I saying that right? Tequilas. That's another region. Armin Armagnac, I believe. We want to do some more oddballs. So if you like this oddball, it's released on a different day. It's a more different kind of flavor. Uh, let us know. Let us know. What should we do? We better scotch it. We're going to scotch we're gonna, it. Wait. Oh, we're oh. going to tequila it. Tequila it. That's a mouthful. <laughs> tequila it, you scotch gods. Tequila. <laughs> Dummies. <laughs>